Well, hi, everybody. Welcome to the Hass, as Catherine Upps likes to call it, Tallahassee, Florida. I'm Paul Peck with Matt Mattia following the Buffalo Bulls women's team 102 to 79 first round NCAA tournament win over South Florida. Just saying it, Matt, and saying the score and knowing how this game went, uh, I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. Well, I'm just trying to catch my voice because, you know, when they're playing like that, you hardly get a chance to breathe when you're calling a game when Sierra Dillard's playing the way she is. You get contributions from Courtney Wilkins, Stephanie Reed, business as usual. When you get everything clicking together like that, I mean, they could have put up 120 if they were really trying to towards the end. Down 20 to 11 at the end of the first quarter. The Bulls were struggling. I don't know if they were a little yeah. nervous. South Florida was doing a lot of things that they normally do. And then all of a sudden, the second quarter, it changes. An incredible defensive effort. Courtney Wilkins off the bench. That seemed to relax Stephanie Reed and Sierra Dillon. And they were the uh, they were the locomotives that pulled this team to a big halftime advantage and then cruised to the win. Well, a relaxed Sierra Dillard and Stephanie Reed is bad news for anybody because when they're playing like we know they're capable of, it's just so much fun to watch. Steph is such a gamer. You can tell how much fun she has. She's smiling on the court. Sierra is having too, way too much fun out there when she's playing like that. And when you get the cog that is the Buffalo Bulls clicking like that, I'm serious that teams are going to be trying to stay away from us. Sierra Diller with a career-high 36. Courtney Wilkins off the bench with a career-high 23. And Stephanie Reed with a, I don't want my career to end, 19 mm -hmm. points and 8 assists. And it won't end. Monday, next up for the Bulls right here, the home court of the Florida State Seminoles. Going to be a tough one in front yeah. of what will be a very pro garnet and gold crowd. And I think the Bulls are up to the task. They had a, a heavy road schedule this year. They're used to playing in some tough venues, tough crowds. So uh, if any team is ready for it and try to make a, a stand here to advance the Sweet 16, it's this Buffalo Bulls team. That'll be Monday. For details on the time and the broadcast information, make sure you check ubbulls.com. Bulls are moving on to the second round of the NCAA tournament. For Matt Mattia, I'm Paul Peck. Thanks for joining us on this Bulls Digital Update.